So we'd like to bring Tony up to say something. Some of you will recognize these, and I hope that most of you do, but we can explain them later. <laughs> this is a wedding poem for Maggie. Something old, something new. I think it's obvious which is who. <laughs> something borrowed, something blue. The sadness we shared brought me closer to you. You've gone from niece to goddaughter, then bride. I was honored to walk down the aisle by her side. You've become such a beautiful lass. But, oh, as a kid, you were a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Always begging me to talk like a kid. <laughs> so I finally gave in, and that's what I did. On vacation sleepovers, when you kids all got hyper, I was forced to tell stories of dark winged baby diapers. <laughs> Unknowingly, each parent overfed the poor child till his diaper exploded and the kids all went wild. <laughs> and everyone thought that it was oh so funny that you claimed young Andrew as your honey bunny. But then you met PJ. <laughs> it was such a shame that Papa just couldn't remember his name. <laughs> you know that we love you and now Casey too. You've always been there and you both helped us through. Now everything's brighter, and you're on your way, but there's still one more thing that I have to say. Life is not always easy. You can count on some strife, but it sure helps a lot when you've got a great wife. Look over here at me. Pause <laughs> <laughs> here for meaningful, loving, glance at my stunning wife. <laughs> raise a glass and offer a cheer and hope that we don't face our ultimate fear. For this friendship and wedding, we're all so excited. Now let's pray to God that the keg's not invited. <laughs> <laughs>